Hey my beauty people, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today I want to do a hair tutorial for you guys because a while back I cut my hair short and for as long as I can remember I've had long hair and styling it was so easy and doing any sort of like updo or curling it or whatever it was just so much easier to do with longer hair. And then when I cut it, for me to find a routine to sort of get into with my hair was quite challenging. Today I'm going to show you guys how to curl your hair for short hair. This is sort of short to medium length. Let's get right into it. So the way I like to start with my hair is usually freshly washed hair. So this is just freshly washed. I washed it today and um, I don't blow dry my hair. I let it air dry because I feel like when I blow dry it, it just gets frizzy and it gets extremely poofy and I hate it. So I let my hair air dry and this is how it ends up looking. What you're gonna need for this hairstyle is a hair clip, hair tie and a straightener that's it as simple as that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna section off our hair the way we would normally just section off our hair so we're just gonna do it this way I already brushed my hair out so it's not an issue but if you haven't make sure you guys brush your hair out first so that you get all the knots and everything out once we have sectioned it off we're just gonna tie the side off to the side and then take the rest of this hair and then section it off like so just a small amount not too much and then we're just gonna pin it up like that then with a section about this size we're just going to split it into about three so here is the first piece and what I like to do is with my strainer I like to curl away from my face so sometimes people like to rotate it so you curl it towards your face and then uh, away from your face I like to keep it away on each side because I feel like it frames the face better. So using just a, any sort of straightener, I have a new straightener. I don't know which one this is, but it's just a standard new straightener. And uh, we're just gonna start. So we're gonna go like so, twist it away from the face, and pull down. And there is your first curl. People tend to just hairspray it so that it stays the way it is but my hair because it's so thin um, it weighs down the hair and it actually causes the curls to die down a lot so I basically just let it stay like so after I have curled it but if you have thicker hair by all means add more hairspray whatever helps your hair stay the way it is for it to look that way and last a while close to your face, make sure you always, always, always curl it away from your face because if you don't, it doesn't frame your face nicely and it just sort of flops in on your face and does not look that great. So when you are curling your hair, make sure you do curl it away from the face. this side I find that this side takes a lot less time to curl because there's a lot less hair on this side than there's on this side because a lot of it's brought over to the side 
And then I also find this side a lot harder to curl because I kind of get into a rhythm or like a habit of doing it this way, so now I'm getting into a habit of doing it the other way. Taylor, the struggle to do here. So now that all of it is curled, what I like to do is I like to make sure that the hair that's framing my face is somewhat looks okay. I mean, today it looks pretty decent. I can't lie. I think I like the way it came out today. Most days I'm not a fan with the way this looks or with the way my bangs look or anything. Um, but today it all seems to look pretty good. I might just fix this side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it up like so. Take my straightener and then just pull it back like that and then let it go so that there's some sort of volume right there because I have very thin hair. So now that we're done with straightener, we're just going to turn it off. Alright, so now that the hair looks somewhat the way you like, what I like to do is I like to take it all together like so and then sort of just run my fingers through it just to sort of Just to sort of get it all together instead of keeping it all in like its own separate little curls. Then, once we have done that and we're satisfied with the way that looks, we're gonna go in with this. Now this is my best friend now that I have discovered it. Um, because I have thin and very flat hair, this actually gives me a lot of volume where I need it. So we're gonna take some hair like so. Right that. We're gonna go in with our Garnier Fructis Texture Tees and we're just gonna spray it into the roots. Like so. And then rub it in. Um, as you can tell, it sort of gave me a little bit more volume right there. So you're also going to want to throw that into your roots right up here and then work your fingers through that as well. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. There you guys have 
have it. That is how I have started to curl my hair. Um, I have found out that curling my hair with a straightener is a lot easier than curling it with a curling wand only because it is so much shorter than it used to be and I actually get a curl that I like. Um, I'm not a big fan of like really tight curls so this is good. This is like very natural. I feel like very natural, just easy to wear and I love it. When I go out for dinner with friends or we're going on a night out or just whatever special occasion, I tend to curl my hair like this only because I feel like it looks good and it can go with a dress down outfit or a dress up outfit. So it's just easy to wear and it's very quick. It does me up, it takes me about 20 minutes to do so. Anyways, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the little red button down below to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. In the comments down below, let me know what one of your favorite hairstyles are to do. I will leave all of my social links down below or in this corner right over here so you guys give me a cheeky little follow on all of those. And that is it. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!